Get ready now for the men's 100 meter final. Collegiate and NCAA meet record set four years ago by Gondi Makusha of Florida State. Clayton Vaughn of Texas Arlington has the best time in the country this year. Well, there he is, Dwight. He's got the fastest time ever run by a high school American boy. 9.99 seconds. He's improved over the last year and a half. He's got a time down to 9.90 times. That's the fastest time ever run by a 19-year-old in history. Trayvon Bromel has just had a magnificent last three years. And this Baylor sophomore, Trayvon Bromel, along with his coaches, has learned to take a more proactive approach to his collegiate career. I'm starting to have a mindset of like, you know, a, a pro athlete. Me and my coach, we study the things that we need to work on and we're going from there. Uh, we, we realize, you know, I'm not the Trayvon from high school anymore. I can't just get out there and just run. It's all about, you know, what you have scheduled, uh, the technical, th technical things that you have to work on. And it's, it's just a different environment now in, in college. And I've learned a lot from that. Uh, now it's just all about moving forward and making sure you, I'm doing the things that I've done last year, but better. And he certainly is under his sprint coach, Michael Ford. Uh, he has just really come along very, very well. I asked Coach Ford exactly what has the, been the difference. He says he's a little stronger this year. He's hit the weight room, he said, and he accelerates as well as he ever has. His top speed is better than it's ever been. But you can't discount this man down in lane three, the junior from USC, Andre Degrassi of Canada. Yes, and, and you know, Degrassi, uh, when you hear his story, three and a half years ago, he wasn't running. He didn't start until he was late in his senior year of high school. Said, I was hanging around with the terrible guys, and I decided to try track, and he was very gifted in sneakers, starting from a very weird position. He still ran 10.9 seconds in high school with no training, and everybody said, wow, what a talent. He's borne that out. And out lane six from TCO. TCU has a big football connection to track and field. Colby Listenby is also in this field. He was a very fine high school runner, ran 21.5 plus seconds, did uh, Listenby, but has been nurtured very well in this sport. Does play football for TCU as a wide receiver. Now, Larry, I remember when we first saw Trayvon Bromel, his freshman year at Texas Relays in the morning semifinal heats, or the, the heats, I should say, blasted a 10.03 or 02, and we just said, who is this kid? And there are the lane assignments, and Bromel is in lane five, but this is no gimme. Andre Degrassi and 998 in the semifinals on Wednesday. Tevin Hester certainly has the capability, as does Colden Listenby, if Trayvon Bromel falters. Win right now, unfortunately, Howling. Good chance that it's going to be too strong to be a, an NCAA record of any sort, but he obviously can get the victory here. He ran 9.90 on Wednesday in a semifinal, just one one hundredth of a second off the collegiate record and the meet record. But now it's about defending his title. And this is not a laydown from this field. Andre Degrassi will press him the whole way, the way they did when they ran against each other in the semifinal, the first time they ever faced each other head to head. Good reaction to the gun by Bromel, as well as Degrassi. Listen, B was left in the blocks. It is Degrassi. Andre Degrassi is going to win this. Degrassi beating Bromel, an upset of sorts. And Certainly has the capability. 9.75, it's got to be with a lot of wind, but I don't care. 9.75 is a blistering time. It is just breathtaking what's been accomplished by this man. And Brumel, 9.88 seconds, tremendous. The wind, not as strong as we thought, but over the allowable limit. It's blowing at about five and a half miles per hour. Let's explain this quickly. 2.0 meters per second is all you can get for a tailwind that works out to four and a half miles per hour. Anything above that is not legal. For record purposes, this, if it had been legal, would be the second fastest time in the world this year. Only Justin Gatlin for the United States has run 9.74. Unbelievable, what a talent and still so young at this sport. Just 20 years old and another year left at USC. No less than five athletes under 10 seconds in that 
Kendall Williams, the freshman, 9.98. Andre DeGrassi not expected to win this over Bromel. He does so, but nothing, nothing should be uh, uh, felt badly about when you run that fast.